Hey guys, what is going on? It is your boy, and we are here to discuss my new book that has just come out, the second installment in my, um, how should I call it, in my collection of books that I'm writing, which we started off with Ninja Sun The Beginning. Ninja Sun Be The Beginning was the, um, is the backstory of the Ninja Warriors. Following Dion, who's the prince of um, their planet Trayan, he basically, um, there was a lot of responsibilities that was um, thrown on his shoulders. So he had to navigate becoming king, uh, being the royal guard, captain of the guards, and also be, uh, being the leader of the Ninja Warriors. The Ninja Warriors are basically uh, a secret army that the king used to you uh, to you know win wars or to you know extract evil where the royal um, soldiers could not fight like uh, super beings and stuff like that because the ninja warriors are actually um, I know most of you probably have been asking the question like what who and what are the ninja warriors the Ninja Warriors are basically uh, the Zodiac Warriors. They were really the uh, the way I writ, uh, wrote them to be the uh, the actual Zodiac gods before they came to um, before uh, we knew about the Roman uh, Empire and how um, Zeus and all of them came the uh, Roman mythology. They are part of that. But um, what you uh, what I the way I written it, you guys did not didn't know that they were ninjas first. So they all had you know different powers and all of that stuff. So my book begins to tell the story of how the ninja warriors came into existence. Now it does not give you the full backstory of each one. Because I still want it to be like a mystery. I want you guys to, you know, use your imagination of how the, you know, other ninjas came into, you know, existence. How did they get their powers? I'm going probably, I'm gonna probably do a full backstory on each one, um, depicting all of that. But for right now, I want you guys to put it in, you know, use your imagination to however you want to. Do some fanfics and stuff like that, but you know, please don't say this is what y'all think I was doing. That uh, uh y'all don't have a clue of what I was doing. So, <laughs> but back to the story. So the beginning is uh, telling the story of Dion going through those trials and tribulations to help him, you know, gain respect from his team and you know also you know quelling a threat on their planet, which their planet is in his dying days. Um. Does he gain the respect of his um, ninja warriors? I don't know. But I will tell you, starting off with the, you know, starting off with the story, Ninja Sun is Dion, the prince of, you know, prince of Trey, and he is the leader of the ninja warriors. We also have Ninja Ares. Ninja Ares is the god, I know he's the god of war, however... In my iteration of Ares, Ares um, is the, um, he controls ice. He's still the god of war, but he controls ice and can also manipulate the temperatures of ice. He's also a psychic. I look, he's also a psychic. So we'll just leave it right there. I'm giving you guys a little history of the ninjas as well. So you, so when you dive into the books, you'll, you know, see their personalities. Ninja Sagittarius. Ninja Sagittarius is um, the flame ninja. He's the fire ninja. He is a hothead. He's basically my best friend. So he's like, you know, me and him, we have like knock down, drag out fights. I, I, that's why this character is, you know, Ninja Sagittarius. He's bullheaded straight to the point, but you know what? Always there for you. So... And that, and do not go in thinking that each zodiac has the personalities because they don't. I did not use, and that was one of the things I wanted to do. I wanted to develop those personalities 
over time so they could match the original, you know, so they could match um, the Zodiacs, you know, um, our horoscopes right about now. But um, in the beginning of the book, it does not do that. So I know y'all going to be like, oh, my God, no, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. So Ninja Sagittarius is basically the flame ninja. He, you know, is the um he conjures up fire, guys. I just gave y'all he's a he's a brickhead. Let's just say that. Ninja Capricorn. I know a lot of you are gonna be wondering about Ninja Capricorn. Because I got one person that wants to know about him. Ninja Capricorn is a silent killer. He's the um he also controls lightning. He's the lightning ninja. He's a silent killer. He's um also um has super they all have, you know, um uh, super strength, but the um uh, but it's not the way you think. Um Ninja Capricorn has I gave him this wonderful backstory, but you guys are gonna have to read uh read the third um uh, book. To find out the backstory, so I want to give that away because when y'all read that, you can be like, "Oh my goodness!" But he's kind, he's caring, and he's also um, he's also soft spoken. But when it's time to fight, Ninja Capricorn would take it upon himself to jump into the battle with no hesitation. Ninja Taurus, you guys see Ninja Taurus right here. This is who this book is about right here. I give the backstory on him, but Ninja Taurus is um, quirky. He's um, he's quirky, fun, uh, fun loving, also a class clown, but it's also smart. Um, he's basically the pseudo pseudo. I mean, the pseudo leader of this book. He's not officially the leader, but he's the pseudo leader, and he's also. Um, trying to find, uh, well, he's also trying to find, well, I'll explain that in a minute. I'm just explaining the ninjas. We got Serpin, who's in the teal. Serpin is also, um, he's not a part of the Zodiac, um, as we all know. He's not a part of the Zodiac, but he's also a god. He's the ninja of uh, poison, and you uh, since it's a snake, He's also, um, his kunai chain normally comes from the back of his hand, like, it's like it's alive, but I like how the artist got it, you know, depicting right here, but it normally comes from the back of his hand. So, in the next iteration, when you see it, you'll see it coming from the back. He's like, um, he's an Italian, but he's more conservative, more, you know, direct. He's mostly, um, he's not quiet, but he does have, you know, he's very opinionated like Sagittarius, but he's mostly, you know, thinking of ways to, you know, better something. But in the, um, but when you read the book, it's going to be a totally different situation. Believe you me, you would not even recognize him. But as the um, book goes on, his personality would start to come back. But in this book, it did not show. Uh, Apollo, which is him right here in the brown. Apollo, he is, oh my goodness. We also know Apollo is the god of war. But Apollo is um, headstrong. He jumps straight in without any questions. He doesn't, uh, he's like, I'm jumping in, but you try to pull him back, but it's already too late. He's gone. He's more so of a uh, party animal. Um, in the original, in the original book, those personalities don't come out because they are training that they're training hard. So you don't get to see those personalities. But his personality is, you know, like I said, he's a party animal. He likes to have fun. He is, you know, happy go lucky. That's basically him. Uh, Ninja Pisces. You're going to learn a little bit more about Pisces in the third book. Pisces is mostly, um, I don't want to say he's conservative, but he's a jokester. He, uh, he's serious to a point, but he also lets loose and knows how to have fun. But he tries to, you know, stay dignified. 
That is Pisces. <laughs> uh, Orion. Orion is, oh my goodness. I want to say a bookworm, but he's not. That thing, because uh, he's modeled out to my other cousin, and my other cousin is nowhere near conservative. He's nowhere near a bookworm. My cousin is outgoing, fun-loving. He's a jokester. He's all that in combined, and that's where you got Ninja Apollo, uh, Ninja um, Orion. Those two will be drawn soon, so don't worry, they're coming. So uh, let me see who else I can give y'all. Um, those are the only ones I'm going to give y'all for right now. So you guys can understand, but we got Ninja Leo, we got Ninja um, Aquarius, Ninja Cancer, we've got Ninja uh, Gemini, male and female, yes, and they're twins. We got Scorpio, Virgo, and Libra. So though, and Stratus is coming back as well. So Stratus is a made up um, ninja to you know round out my team, but. They're coming, but they will be coming in the fifth and the sixth iteration of the book. But trust and believe, you're going to get to know them because I'm going to talk about them in more videos so you guys can, you know, get to know them very well. So that is technically my description of them in the first book. Now, let me give you guys um, a rundown of this, of this book that just uh, released. This book is ta um, telling the story of Ninja Taurus. Ninja Taurus is giving you the um, backstory because in the um, he's actually um, a lot older when he's telling the story. So he's giving you the history of how he, you know, how he was reawakened, how um, he got, how his powers manifested, and how he found Serpent and Apollo. Because those three are, uh, those three um, come together in this chapter. And this villain right here in the background, he's the main villain of the book, which his name is Maverick. So you'll get to see how these four, uh, how those three take on Maverick and how they're going to, you know, how would they do it? What is the story that um, Malik is going to tell you guys? What is, um, how did he get his powers? How, I mean, it's going to be so many questions. Um, but you guys have to read the first book first to understand where this book is going to go. Because it's not going directly into the awakening. Because at the end of the first book, I tell you, um, the first book will continue in awakening. But I gave you a diversion to give you guys a chance to, um, Get to know Orion, uh, those uh, Taurus, Apollo, and Serpent. I wanted those three specifically because um, Ninja Taurus is modeled after one of my best friends, and he loves this character. And um, he loves the character. He loves how everything is going with Ninja Taurus. He likes how um, the. He hasn't read the full book, but I gave him, um, I think he read like the first couple of pages and when I had the rough draft, and he loves it. So, no, he actually read all 10, uh, the first um, chapter, because the first chapter is his, um, was the chapter for his character, so he loves it. I'm letting you guys know. You guys, will all the hard work that I'm putting into um, the book, for you guys to enjoy. I'm actually happy to start, you know, um, being able to put this out for you guys to read, for you guys to, you know, because I know how a lot of people um, love and live by their zodiac signs and, you know, their horoscopes. Um, even though I am not the, um, I don't live by mine, but I definitely like mine and, Y'all already know I'm a Gemini, but my character that mo that I'm modeled after, um, my character is the main character, Ninja Sun. So, yes, he's the leader. So, my character is the leader. So, y'all should know that. <laughs> but, yes, 
this book right here um, does not pick up where that one left off, but it does give you a, a different story. It gives you a um, look into, you know, Malik's life, his early life, uh, when he becomes Ninja Taurus again. So how does he become Ninja Taurus again? You guys got to read and find out. How does Apollo become Ninja Apollo? You got to read to find out. And the reason why I'm being vague with it because you got to read the first book because the first book explains what's happening here. And it's going to explain what happened in the third book. So it's going to be like a tri it's going to be like a triangle. The beginning the story of Taurus, the awakening. You got to get all three to understand what's going to happen. And believe you me when you guys read it, you're going to be like, "Oh my goodness. I'm telling y'all Everybody who I let read like snippets of it. I don't give out the whole thing, but when you read snippets, you guys will. And I'm a. Uh, we're gonna do a live stream too, where we're gonna read. Um, where I'm gonna read a couple of um, probably like a page or two um, soon. But we're developing that right now. So the live stream is in. Um, we're planning that. So once we plan it, you guys. I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna be like, oh my God, we did that. Yes. I got special guesses. I'm not telling y'all who they are. But what I will do is I will put the, um, for you guys in this video, I will put the, um, link in the description. Uh, it'll be the pinned comment in the description so you guys can go and check it out. So when you guys, um, so when you guys want to, um, purchase the book, is already there. You guys can, you know, get the um, link. It'll be the pe first um, pin comment. But it's also link is, is in the description for you guys to go check it out. Let me tell you. And I'm also working on trying to get audio book uh, for those of you who wants audio. So that way, you know, um, if you don't have time, you can actually listen. So I am working on trying to figure out how much that's gonna cost. I do have a voice actress. Um, but I'm gonna have to talk to her to see if um see how that is going. Um, did she get the contract to work with them so she can, you know, use my book. So I'm telling y'all, I'm working really diligently to get this stuff, you know, to get um my brand out there because I want you guys to, you know, see that I'm very passionate about my ninjas. Oh, you guys, I am so passionate about them. And I know you guys will probably be like, you know, once you get to know them and you get a chance to uh, read and understand them, you will definitely fall in love with them too. Like I told y'all, just because you have a, um, just because you have a uh, specific ninja that, I mean, a specific zodiac uh, zodiac um, sign that you are. You may not like your sign. You may like another. You may you fall in love with characters that you never thought you'd fall in love with, and that's what I'm. Uh, that's what I'm trying to build. It's a community of people that you know, like Sailor Moon. I know a lot of y'all know I'm. Uh, I'm a Mooney. I, I'm a Mooney to my heart. I love Sailor Moon. That's what I'm trying to build with Ninja Sun. And I know I've got to do a lot more. Um, I have to do a lot more advertising um, at comic conventions and stuff like that. So I'm going to start trying to get myself into those areas and let people, you know, start to see those books too. But I'm definitely starting out with my subscribers because I definitely want you guys to... Um, to like the characters, get to know the characters, and let me know what you guys think of them. But make sure you guys pick up this book right here. It would definitely, definitely, you would not be, uh, you would not be um, disappointed with it. I promise you. And I'm not saying that just because I wrote it. I read it. My, I read it as I was writing it, so I know it was good. And even the editor loves the book. So I'm telling y'all. It's not just me saying this to sell the book. I'm telling y'all, I I have a lot of people who loves it. But I ain't going to hold you guys up. I got other things I got to do, and I got to try to get to get, uh, get situated with the book and everything today. But don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to come uh, check out the merch in the link in the description. And it's also up under the video, so you guys can take a look at the store. 
Make sure you guys pick up the new book, The um, Story of Ninja Taurus. Make sure you get um, Ninja Sun the beginning. Make sure you guys come back and love y'all and your boy because you know I love you guys too. Until next time, guys, I love you all, and I will see you guys later.